Hey everyone, so a while back I did a video about the model builder which was kind of a, a Visual Studio extension that gives a GUI interface to build uh, to automatically build machine learning algorithms but behind the scenes the model builder uses something called AutoML from Microsoft and basically AutoML just iterates over your data set and it goes through different machine learning algorithms with different hyperparameters and it'll help select the best model based on that data. And what we're going to do here in this video is that we're going to use AutoML uh, programmatically in a C Sharp program. We kind of do the same thing that that model builder does. All right, so I'm here in Visual Studio. I have a .NET Core console program created and I already have and I already have my data file included here and this is the California housing prices data set here and it has several features uh, latitude longitude uh, total rooms total bedrooms uh, median income ocean proximity and what we're going to use is our label and so what we're going to predict here is the median house value. All right, so to get started, I'm going to add some dependencies from NuGet. And first I need ml.net, and this is going to be using version 1.1. Alright, and then to use the auto ML features, I need to bring in the Microsoft.ml.autoML package. Alright, so first things first, uh, we need to create a new ML context. And start bringing in some using statements. Next, we'll read in our our training data. Take it from the context that data, and we'll load from text file. Like usual, when we load from a text file, we need to give it the kind of the input schema. And so, I'll put a placeholder here for the housing data class that I'll have to create in just a bit. Now, I'll read in the housing CSV. has a header and I'll give it the separator character as the com. Alright, so let's create this input schema. Now I'll just copy this over so you don't have to see me type and everything. I need to bring in using statements for there too. There we go. So these are pretty much all the properties, all the features that we showed in the the data file and the median house value. Uh, I'm gonna tell, basically rename it to a call name of label. All right. So what we can do, create an experiment, and on the context we can run a function called auto and that is an extension method on that NuGet package that we brought in. And just like the model builder, currently you can create a binary classification, multi-class class classification or a regression experiment. Now I'll do a regression experiment and right now I'll just give it the parameter of the max experiment time in seconds. I'll just put in 10. So it'll take 10 seconds to run through all the different algorithms and hyperparameters for the data. And with that, we'll get the result from the experiment by running the execute method on it. And we'll give it our training data. And then for a simple start, I can just tell it the label will be 
just label label column name and with that result we can read in and give our or get our best run from that so I'm going to copy some print statements here basically it just gives us our best run on a trainer name from this result object here it gives us that best run we can look at the trainer the algorithm that it picked we can look at the validation metrics on it too such as r squared and mean absolute error so let's run this real quick The best run was the fast tree regression, and we have R squared of 0 0.05 and a mean absolute error of almost 30,000. But there's a, a bit more that we can do here that the auto ML package uh, will let us do. So the first thing we can do is we can give it a couple of settings. And we have regression experiment settings class that we can use here and it has some properties there the main one is we have that ex max experiment time in seconds property that we can use and i'll continue to use 10. And there's a couple other things that we can do we can give it a cache directory where it'll load all the, the, the training data into cache uh, into memory pretty much so that'll give you some faster training times that way give it a cancellation token so if the user wants to cancel the the auto ml experiment they can do that uh, we can we can also tell it what metrics to optimize for when it does the, the run Currently, i think it does the r squared and the regression and we get a list of the trainers that it's going to run through and with this that we can if they add new trainers to it, we can do that manually. Or if we know we don't want to use a trainer, we can just remove it from here. But right here, I'll just leave leave it with the max experiment time in, in seconds. And on the create regression experiment, I can just pass in the settings. Another interesting thing we can do is, since this runs for 10 seconds, as we saw when we ran it earlier, there's no kind of progress that we get while it's running. So it'd be nice to kind of get some some progress information to tell us what's what's going on, what it's currently working on. And this is the same uh, information that we got when we were, were running with the model builder. To do that, I'm going to create a new progress. And that is going to take a run detail, which is going to take regression metrics and that takes in an action so I can use a lambda function and before I do anything I'm going to check the validation metrics make sure it's make sure it's not null because we're going to be using that and now I can just console console out kind of the sorry it's this regression matrix and I bring that in there we go now I can tell current result and then I can check the current trainer name I can check on the validation metrics the current R squared. And then I can also check the current mean absolute error. There we go. So basically, what this is going to do is as it updates during the experiment run it's going to run this method here and so to use that we will just pass it in into the execute 
and pass it into it as the progress handler parameter. And now let's see what this looks like. There you go. So each we're getting information for each of the current runs that it's doing. So the trainer name, the R squared, and the mean absolute error. And we still we actually get a different trainer name now. There we go. That's just a kind of a quick overview of the auto ML package and how to use it uh, programmatically. So this can actually be used your own pipelines where every time you know you get some new data, you can run through this code and it'll automatically generate kind of the best model that you, that you know you can use within your ml.net projects. So, all right, so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks.